The day Elvis Presley died, it really kind of changed and stopped everything. His sudden death on August 16, 1977, shocking the world. Elvis Aaron Presley was born January 8, 1935, in Tupelo, Mississippi. In 1954, at age 19, the talented singer was discovered by record producer Sam Phillips, launching what would become a legendary music career. Two years later, he earned his first hit with Heartbreak Hotel. Elvis was essentially the first American idol. He had it all. He was gorgeous, sexy, he had a very unique voice. He landed his first movie role, Love Me Tender, in 1956 and went on to make 33 successful films. Elvis Presley bought Graceland for a little over $100,000 in 1957. In 1958, Presley put down his guitar and enlisted in the United States Army, serving two years in Germany, where he met his future wife, 14-year-old Priscilla Beaulieu. The couple dated for eight years before tying the knot. Exactly nine months later, Priscilla gave birth to their only child, Lisa Marie. Their marriage ended after five years. The King tried to make a comeback in 1968, but people felt by then Elvis had lost his pizzazz. In the final years of his life, Elvis suffered health problems and battled prescription drug use. He was found dead from a heart attack inside Graceland August 16, 1977. As soon as the news broke, throngs of teary-eyed fans gathered at Graceland to say goodbye to the King. This year marks 40 years since his death. We're expecting about 50,000 or more for the whole week. And August 16th, we actually have um, our anniversary concert. It's called Elvis Live in Concert. Elvis Presley has sold more than 1 billion records to date. Ashley Dvorkin, Fox News.